Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today I would like to talk to you about the recent controversy surrounding the lost Batman game Arkham Knight that was released some time ago um, and people were angry. Uh, it was released with a lot of problems on PC and it's basically a port from the console version and it even got pulled from Steam because of the state it was in. I actually own uh, the Steam version of the game, it's still in my library, but I've not played it. I'm waiting for, well, the problems to be fixed by Rocksteady, the developer. And the thing is that the biggest complaint people have with the PC version uh, is that it was capped at 30 frames per second. Uh, a lot of people are very vocal about that aspect. Now, to be quite honest, I, I thought that was kind of strange because I, I don't really care too much about the frames per seconds. I mean, I do because I, I want a playable game, but to me, 30 frames per second is not a really bad number, you know? And it's very playable. And you can alter the INI file so that you, you do get 60 frames per second if you wanted to, but it might the game might become unstable because of that. But for most games, I mean, 30 frames per second is not that bad, actually. It's quite playable. It's not the best. And there is an, a noticeable difference between playing a game at... Uh, 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. But I think the majority of people don't really notice that. I just want to play the game uh, casually. And um, But the interesting thing is that because of all the controversy and all the people that were complaining about it, um, it seems like the there's a, a vocal minority that's that just tries to uh, uh, slash a game and, and burn it down completely, especially on, on Metacritic, where they will leave all these negative reviews of the game that I think it's kind of unfair, but they want to give the developers a, uh, a sign or a sort of a feedback and say, you know, we, we don't accept this as a consumer. You have to fix this and uh, you have to release a game in a you know, in a good state, and I agree with that. But I am, I don't agree with all the negativity on the forums and all the all the backstabbing and all that. It's just, um, it's good to give a, a, a signal or, or a sign to the developers, but you can also overdo that. Uh, that's, that's sort of my take on the whole thing. And I think that the, the vocal minority that's complaining about the the frames per second issue, they probably have high-end PCs that can actually run uh, the most modern games with uh, 60 frames per seconds, second, and they also want to play the game in 50 frames per second, which is uh, understandable if you have the specs, if you have a, a badass computer, but I think the minority, uh, the, the majority of people will probably have a, a medium uh, PC and they're just happy to be able to run uh, such a new game as Batman, uh, uh, the, uh, Batman, uh, the last Batman game. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it, it feels kind of similar to the whole Mass Effect 3 ending thing. Um, the whole, you know, controversy surrounding that to the point where uh, Bioware actually changed the ending. And I think, you know, playing it, I, I thought the ending was fine, you know. I'm not a huge fan of the Mass Effect game series, but still, I, it is, you know, it's the ending that the people, that the creators uh, thought out and they wanted to put in their game, which is their, you know, it's their right, they could do that. Uh, but still, I think the, the the minority of players that are actually huge fan of the series, they just sort of 
went crazy and demanded that um, that the ending was changed. So what you see is on the internet, especially, it's just people are so involved sometimes, and it's a minority, but they are so involved, and it's not always on the basis of really good arguments. So it's sort of a double-edged sword, I think. On one hand, it's good that people are demanding good products, but it's also sort of the way you do it and the way you you express this. Um, you know, it, it just be be respectful and cool about this these things, and you know, Rocksteady will will of course. Um, repair the PC version of Batman, it'll be okay. You know, it'll just have to wait a little longer. And I do think that Rocksteady should have had some quality assurance or quality systems or whatever, or play testers. And somebody should have said, you know, this is not ready for release, but I think it has, it has all to do, everything to do with demands by the publisher that the game should be released uh, whatever state it was in, you know, just to to have a, have the fiscal year finished or or something like that, um, and that's I, I don't think that's the way to do it. You know, you got to look at your game and and say, you know, this is a good version, um, and this is ready to be released. So yeah, that's my take on the whole Batman situation. I will play it eventually. I'll wait for the patched version or new patches to come out and um, yeah let me know what you think um, and uh, leave comments and I always appreciate that so thanks for watching